You now have full visibility of your assembly line on one screen, helping you to forecast how many units can be assembled, saving you time and increasing transparency of your production process. Once you have your multi-level bill of materials in place, click in Production, Assemblies, and Add Assembly. For this example, I will take you through the process of assembling a crate of one of my favorite stout beers. This functionality works really well when you select your final product and work your way back through to the beginning of your production's process. The Can Assemble Quantity in All Levels field will show you the maximum amount you will be able to assemble using your current stock levels. You can see that based on the quantities I have in stock right now for these components, I would not be able to complete this assembly. But let's change that. We will call this assembly our parent assembly. From here, we can ensure we have stock on hand for all the necessary components for your final product by creating new assemblies that will cover all the production steps for our stout pack. You can start creating your sub-assemblies by clicking on the plus sign. A pop-up screen will appear, showing you relevant stock information for this product. For this example, we will need six bottles to complete my six pack so I will need to assemble four bottles as I already have some available. Click on Create Subassembly and click on the orange icon to go to the new park subassembly that has just been created. To be able to produce four bottles of my stout beer, I will need to make sure I have enough brewed beer. So once again, click on the plus sign to get brewing. Click the orange icon and navigate through the subassembly. We are now at the bottom level of our production process and can start working our way back to our final product by completing our sub-assemblies. Remember, you can change the quantities if needed. Click on Complete and click on Parent Assembly to navigate your way back. Now you can also complete this assembly. Back to our final product, you now have full visibility on how many items you can assemble and also all the possibilities of assemblies throughout the levels. To save time, you can also use the action cogs to complete the sub-assemblies. Thanks for watching.